All right, no more, no more start overs. What's up, guys? It's Joe and Brendan on the phone right now. He's driving out to the beach, and uh, we wanted to get a video out, um, so we just decided to do a phone call and record it. Um, we're trying to start up a new series again on on YouTube. Um, kind of stay consistent with it this time, doing kind of weekly updates on what we're doing as far as uh, fitness and workouts and that kind of stuff, but also what we're doing behind the scenes, kind of with uh, you know, starting our business, building our brand and everything. You know, we're in the really beginning preliminary stages right now, but uh, I think kind of documenting our growth, documenting our, um, you know, what we're learning, how, what we're doing and how we're trying to, you know, slowly progress into something big. Um, I think it could be an interesting, uh, you know, engaging series and something that people can uh, kind of follow along and see our growth and see our progress. Um, so yeah, so Brandon and I are gonna keep uh, kind of updating you guys weekly and, and sharing what we're doing. So, Brendan, say hi to everybody. Yo, what's going on? Uh, hopefully the volume level's all right. Got him on a speaker, but um, but yeah, Brendan, why don't you do you want to say what kind of workouts you're working on right now? What kind of stuff you're doing in the gym and um, what your goals are right now? definitely adds a whole nother, I don't know, it's like another dimension of workouts, uh, for sure. I, um, I don't do it a whole lot, but you know, I try to incorporate some stuff. I got a couple of bodyweight goals myself, but uh, I don't think it's nearly uh, as intense as what you're doing over there. So it'd be really cool to, to see your progress and stuff. And um, if you check us out on our Instagram, we're at Unleashed Fitness right now. And uh, you can see Brendan's um, kind of progress and he's been doing videos of his workouts and stuff so you can check it out and kind of follow along what he's doing and the, the progression that he's taking uh, to reach his goals. Um, right now in the gym personally I am working on uh, gaining weight right now so I just had a, a meet this past uh, weekend, not this weekend but last weekend 
um, a powerlifting meet, and it went really well. Um, we had, I was at the beach the week before, and I think that kind of took it out of me. There were several days we spent a lot of time on the beach and just hot and dehydrated and that kind of thing, um, and just kind of kind of tiring. We were, you know we were active, we were in the sun a lot, uh, and then I had the whole week off from weights, which I didn't like at all, honestly, because I got under the weight at you know during warm ups and stuff at, at the meet, and I just immediately felt that it was it just felt heavier than usual. The weights were not moving like I wanted them to. It just felt felt off, you know. The week or week or two before, I was feeling really, really strong, really, really good. Then I took that whole week off though, because there was I had didn't have any access to the to a weight room, and I think that hurt me definitely. Uh, so I'm gonna try to avoid that in the future, from you know, for me taking that whole week off. I, like I said, I think that that didn't do me too well. Um, but overall, uh, set some meat PRs myself, so I was pretty happy with it. And uh, so it's on to the next one. Um, I kind of sit right in the middle of my weight class though. Uh, so I have to be under 232 or 231.6 or something. Uh, but I am sitting more at 225, 226, um, you know, in the morning. So it, it, I kind of want to get higher in my weight class, take advantage of the, you know, a few extra pounds that I could, that I could put on. So I'm trying to gain weight right now. So I'm uh, sticking to a, a bodybuilding or hypertrophy block for two or three months. So it was a lot of high reps, a lot of volume, a lot of, like Brendan was saying about the control, um, controlling the weight. And uh, yeah, and I've been really liking it so far. It's something I haven't done in a while. Just really focusing on on uh, kind of that bodybuilding style and uh, trying to get, trying to put on weight. Um, so I'm trying to get, eat more, uh, eat better. Um, trying to think, got a couple other, I, I'm, Got a couple of personal body weight goals as well. I'm trying to get that one arm pull up down. I think it'd be really cool. I'd love to do a human flag. Uh, I don't have that worked into my workout right now, but um, so yeah, just uh, working hard at the gym. And and um, Margaret and her little brother are actually working out with me as well right now. And uh, everyone's making progress. Everyone's making gains. It's great. Um, all my main lifts. Also, I'm doing kind of alternate lifts. So instead of low bar squat, I'm doing high bar squat. Instead of conventional deadlift, I'm doing sumo deadlift. Uh, I'm doing seated behind the neck, behind the neck uh, press, and I'm doing um, incline bench. So those are like my four main movements that I'm doing uh, that are kind of alternative uh, to what I normally do to kind of work on that weaker part of the muscle. It's kind of like what I was talking about in one of that blog, one of the blog posts about exploiting your weakness, about finding something you're not very good at, and that you can make real fast progress on. So you, I mean, I'm going to start seeing. I think like high bar, my high bar squat really improve a lot, which hopefully will have carry over to. Uh, my low bar squat. So we'll see how that goes. Again, I'm posting a lot on Instagram. So follow our, you know, both of us follow our, our progressions. You can follow Margaret as well. Uh, she's on our uh, page and she, you can see she's getting a lot stronger. Uh, her little brother Dominic's getting a lot stronger. Just every week hitting PRs. It's great. So uh, definitely, definitely check us out there. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing in the gym. We're doing on Instagram right now. Um, other social media aspects. We got Facebook going. Uh, it's hard to run several social medias at once, but we're basically just posting everything we post on Instagram, sharing it to Facebook. It's kind of an easy way to hit both. Uh, slowly growing on Facebook. We're growing faster on Instagram than on Facebook. So hopefully they'll support each other. Um, we're still really small. We just hit our 255th, I think, on Instagram uh, followers. So it's, I mean, that's nothing really. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a drop in the bucket. So hopefully we'll, we'll continue to grow. Um, you know, we don't really have benchmarks or goals as far as followers go, but we just want to be consistent and uh, are lots of hashtags and, and uh, commenting on other people's videos and trying to trying to connect and make build that network um, and just staying consistent. We also have a weekly blog going on uh, on it's unleashed.fitness.blog. So check that out as well, where we're doing weekly weekly posts on every Friday. Uh, Brendan and I are alternating, so it's once every other week for each of us. But it's it's going to be there's a post every week, and it's kind of on. Um, you know, so far it's been more, uh, you know, deeper subjects. It's not just fitness. It's not just, you know, how to get jacked. It's it's uh, stuff about virtue. It's stuff about, um, you know, more more deeper, you know, deeper subjects. Or, um, you know, what, what what would you describe it as, Brendan? I'll just say it's not your typical meathead blog. I mean, we're not going to necessarily teach you how to increase your bench press or, you know, every single time it's more of 
just kind of our, our focus of making well-rounded individuals and yeah that, that can start in the gym or the gym can be a component of that but it's it's more of you can take some of those lessons that we've learned over the years in the gym and, and apply them to life or vice versa so just kind of uh, our perspective on things I mean it's a variety of topics but you want to better yourself in the gym but we also want to make sure we're getting better outside of the gym too so it's kind of a combination yeah. of those two things no, absolutely absolutely so um, we've been having a lot of fun writing we've got a lot of other topics in mind um, and so I, I, I would, yeah, obviously we appreciate anybody to uh, any, anybody's follow and like and everything and, and, and just reading our uh, reading our blogs and checking them out and sharing them if you really like them, uh, throwing us ideas and arguing with us. If you don't like what we wrote and you have something to say about it, um, let us know. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's Facebook, Instagram, blog. And now we're trying to get our YouTube up. So uh, to, again, we took it, like I said, we took a long hiatus. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, we just moved. Um, just got a new job. We've been trying to like figure out a plan forward. So I think we've got our, our path forward right now. So we want to get back on the YouTube and start in, uh, a weekly update video. So uh, this will be you know our first one. Hopefully it'll be engaging and kind of a learning process for all of us. So um, and then on to actually before we do that one, one more thing. It, uh, we actually got approached um, online with a, a, a offer from a supplement company to be an ambassador for them. Um, and it would come with a discount for their products as well as like another discount we could give to other people for their products. So it's cool and they have a lot of followers. They have a lot of uh, um, in engagement and everything. So we're kind of talking about it, trying to decide what to do. I asked for some samples because I wanted to try the products out before I recommend them to anybody or just you know make any deals. So I tried the first one out the other day. I wasn't a huge fan of it, honestly. I actually almost threw up after my workout and I think it was because of the pre-workout. So I don't know, we're trying out some of the products. I mean, we're never gonna, If I mean, I hope to get a sponsorship in the future. I know Brandon does too and um, we're never going to do a sponsorship deal or, or you know, uh, make an agreement with this company or any kind of supplement company or whatever, apparel, whatever it is, with someone that we don't like. We're never gonna promote products that we don't think are actually good for who we're promoting it to, you know, so. Um, you know, we, we're, we definitely want to be honest with that and not just looking out for ourselves um, in that regard. So we're going to try a couple more of the products and see how they go. Uh, it's also on the pricier end, which I don't want to be recommending expensive supplements that I don't really believe in unless, you know, they're, they're really, really worth it. So we're still thinking it over. We'll let you know what happens. It's not going to give the name of the company right now, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It was exciting though to get that first offer for sure. Uh, we've had a lot of spam accounts try to try to talk to us, but this was the actual first legit <laughs> legit approach. So that was cool. Um, and then finally, our, our big news is that we are trying to um, find uh, a location actually to start up a small gym. Um, this is really exciting for all of us. We've uh, been able to get our hands on some really great equipment. You've probably seen some pictures or some videos of some of the stuff that we've. Uh, well, we got, I, I got a bunch of great deals on Craigslist and we're able to come across thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment for you know a fraction of what they would normally cost. And uh, it's all being stored in my parents', um, parents uh, garage and also right here is actually one of our benches. I'll show you real quick. Ugh, it's pretty nice. It's a solid piece of welded, you know, welded bench. It's, it's beautiful, honestly. Um, I'm really excited for it. Gonna repaint it, reupholster it, but uh, it's, it's a great piece and we, we've come across several pieces like this and, uh, and um, a whole set of machines as well so I just need we just need a few more things honestly um, a couple squat racks and some weights uh, and we can we can start up a gym so we're really excited we're looking right now for interest um, so we're kind of advertising as much as possible to see who's who in the area would be interested you know we're not we both have full-time jobs so we're not looking to quit our jobs to do this yet we're trying to mitigate our risk by starting this as something that would be, you know, after work, you know, or um, you know, somehow have 24-hour member access or something like that, where you don't have to be there the whole time, but we'll be in, obviously be very involved. But it can be some sort of startup that, you know, um, we can still have a full-time job, so we don't have to rely on it for profit and everything uh, right away. So hopefully, um, we can get enough interest and. Uh, Get the communities around the area. We have a lot of friends and family. We grew up in this in the Northern Virginia Manassas area, 
So hopefully we can get enough people involved um, and work with some. I want to work with some school, local schools. Work with uh, there's a you know the police department down the road or there's you know there's a brewing company make some sort of you know deals and promotions and so we're, so we're trying to promote right now and trying to get as much interest as possible to see who'd be interested. We're looking probably about like 50 bucks a month. Um, and we need about 40 to 50 members to make that happen uh, to make the space that we want happen about 2,000 square feet. Uh, of, of warehouse space that's kind of the, that's kind of our goal right now um, included in that uh, fee would be you know uh, we haven't hashed it all out but one of the things we want to do is have these sort of group workouts and classes and kind of you know coaching on the side as well that's kind of all included it's a, it's a community that's the what we're trying to build that's what we're trying to go for and everyone's constantly learning. Um, it's not just kind of a gym you go to by yourself and work out. You can if you want, but there's options to learn, to work out with other people, and to really build this community of, of people who want to work hard, who want to grow, who want to learn, who want to leave the egos at the door and just and just get better. So that's what we're really excited. We're really trying to focus on. Um, we looked at a couple places last week, and uh, one of them was too far. Um, one of them looks actually ideal. <laughs> Uh, and the, another one uh, doesn't look too great, but so we're looking on at the ideal one. It's great size, great location. We just need enough people to make it happen. So that's what we're working on right now. A very exciting time for us. I just hope we can, you know. And there's no rush, really. Like I said we're not. We don't need it to make money right now, or we don't need it to, or uh, I don't know. Truck. We're not. Obviously, we want a place to put all our equipment, but it's okay right now where it is. So there's no rush right now. Uh, you know, we're working our, our full-time jobs and supporting our families. Okay, fine right now. So. Um, that's very nice to not have that, you know, risk associated with it right now and pressure and, you know, it'll ha we're going to let it, you know, work hard for it, but at the same time, let it happen naturally, let it develop on its own. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Brandon's pretty excited as well, would you say? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I mean, um, I really like the idea of having a space to work out where we can be friends with one another. I mean, um, I talked about it a little bit in the last blog post, just that, um, you know, people don't really even talk to each other at the gym and, and everybody's kind of got their own similar mindsets, but for whatever reason, it doesn't really, you know, we don't really reach out to one another or anything like that. So to me, one of the most exciting aspects is just a place where you like going uh, to better yourself, but you're also there with people you like and care about. Um, uh, kind of stay in our current role so that we don't have to take a big risk for our families, but also just kind of that enables us to, to do it with people that we care about and like and stuff like that. And, and I think that kind of provides a better foundation and a better community um, that other people would benefit from as well. So it's definitely something that I'm excited about because A, I love working out and B, uh, be even more awesome to have a place to call your own and then C, just with people that you really care about. So yeah, um, it's like a win, win, win. Um, at least to me, so um, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, Joe's obviously been taking the reins on, on a lot of this and has been getting stuff done, but um, it's definitely an exciting prospect, and I really look forward to kind of growing it and, and watching it grow and making it grow. So let's do it, baby. Uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited <laughs> to be able to open the doors to like our, our you know, that first day with you know, all the people there and. You know, people come in and want to work out with us and, you know, at our gym and stuff. We, you know, everyone we've talked to so far, we've mentioned it to, has loved the idea, has, you know, um, it, we've been able to, we've had to reach out, you know, I've reached out a lot personally, kind of one-on-one -on -one to people, you know, something via messenger or whatever it is and like, hey, are you interested in this if we started this up? And because uh, a lot of people see it and, and don't really think about it and kind of just pass it them by, but when you engage them, um, a lot of individuals have been very responsive uh, and very, you know, positively so. You know, oh, if I was in the area, I definitely would do it. Or I'm in the area, and it's a great idea. I want to do it. So, um, you know, I've been very pleased with the response so far, and I hope uh, we can really get enough interest to get our uh, get our spot. You know, all we have to do is break even every month, and I mean, I'm even willing to pay some out of pocket initially too. It's an investment, right? And I think once we start it up. Right now, it's hard because it's a theoretical thing, right? It's not—it's a—it's not a concrete um, 
it hasn't come to fruition yet and it's not our concrete place and we can show pictures of and, and show results yet, it's a thing like, hey, we have this idea, here's what we want to do, do we have enough interest? So once we get it going, I think it's even going to get more interest and more, um, excuse me, uh, involvement and, and engagement. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I got a couple of meetings next week. Um, I talked, I'm trying to get a hold of the director of the young adults program at the local, one of our local churches. Um, I'm meeting with the head coach of a scene of, of a basketball team down the down the road of the high school. Um, that's real, that's gonna be real close by. See if we can work out some sort of training, you know, uh, agreement or whatever it is. So just trying to get some options right now, trying to think outside the box and seeing what we can do to really make this happen. So, um, but yeah, I mean that's all I got for now. Brandon, you got anything? Um, maybe not for the video, but I do have a question for you that you just made me think of. Okay. Is it is it worth is it good for the uh, the yeah sure I mean you can always you can cut it out I guess right I can um, I was just thinking because obviously like what the last point you just said was it's kind of difficult because we have the uh, idea of a gym which can potentially att attract people but right. to really attract people you need space you know so it's kind of like that awkward you know that fine line between well if we have people then we can get a space, but if we get a space, then we can have people kind of, you know, back and forth. Right, well, what comes first, the chicken or the egg kind of thing? Right, <laughs> so I was wondering if, just from your background at, at tech or, or anything, like, if potentially, like, you know, as we progress in this a little bit, and we still don't have anything definite yet, but, like, if, if there was a way that we could, like, build a model or something like that, like, I know you talked about coming up with, like, a floor plan or something like that, because, I mean, even if we did that, like, that'd be a really cool Instagram and Facebook post, you know, to just kind of be, like, this is the space we're looking at, you know, like this is 1500 square feet, these are the equipments that we have, and then like, just kind of like a blueprint of our gym for people, because then, then it's just like a step closer, it's, it's sure. more of a reality, like we have these machines and we're going to have these, like just kind of like a, right. this is what it will look like, and just, even if it's not the final one, like, you know, depending on, um, or we could just do two or three, like a couple different spaces, and I, I can help you with that, I, I don't know, is that something that you think you can do? or, or we Yeah, can definitely, do? I actually, I was able to work on last week, I was able to work on a floor plan, there's a tool online that I was using, um, I think it was with Cybex, their website, uh, it has like a gym planner, so you can like, say your dimensions of your room, get the shape of the other room and everything, and, and they have all these preloaded equipment in their, in their database, and you just, click it and it pops up on the, on the little layout and you can move them around and kind of lay out your gym. So I did that actually with some of the equipment that we have and equipment that we want with about a 2,000 square foot space just to kind of see what we'd be looking at if there's enough room, you know, how we can fit it all. So I think if we get a little more detailed with something like that, that'd be really cool. We could even get a um, more detailed equipment list. We can get everything kind of a nice package and even make like yeah. a flyer. That'd be kind of cool. Like a flyer with like a little in the corner, have a layout, have all the equipment, have like um, we'd even set up like our class schedule, you know, or like training group, you know, d group days or something. I don't know, like set up a whole thing. Like here's what we're about to do. We're about to pull the trigger. All we need is, you know, 50 members sign up here for your first. And then once we do that, it's this, it's go, you know, it's, it's, right. to, I, I don't know. So that's not, it's a good idea to kind of try to put something, to, something together more concrete. So maybe n this next week we'll be working on that a little more. It's a good idea. We'll, yeah. up, we'll update you next video. <laughs> I, I definitely like the idea of like a blueprint to uh, yeah. Yeah, Sweet. class schedule, just like make it more real for people so that way they have something more concrete to go on. And then even though we don't have the space, you can still kind of, uh, you know, work towards that. I dig. Cool. No, that'd be sweet. I like it. Well, all right, I think that's good for now. I'm gonna go uh, put this video together so we can get it out. And I, I, well, my plan is to, to like put a bunch of this, uh, of our footage from the past week over while we're talking, you know? So we have some like, yeah. some engagement, you know? Should be, should be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go, it's already getting late. It's already 3.30 and we're trying to do some Father's Day things, I guess. By the way, happy, okay. happy Father's Day, your first Father's Day. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. It doesn't feel, feel like it. Uh, right. But it's still a child that's in the womb, so I guess, yeah, but... Uh, Brendan, Brendan has a child in, in utero, so that's pretty exciting. When's baby... Same to you, same to you Joe. Thanks, Happy man. Happy Father's Day to you. No, no baby in the utero. He's, he's, he's walking around. But, um, uh, how, when's, when's Q due? It's due in October. October, so baby Brendan coming in October. Oh, it's a, it's a girl, I forgot. Baby, <laughs> baby, baby Brenda. Baby Brenda coming October. 
2017. But um, all right, well, good stuff. Good stuff, man. We'll have an awesome time at the beach. Um, thanks for doing this video. I think I think it'll be good. Thanks YouTube for listening. Hope we didn't drag on too long, but there was so much to update you on. <laughs> so hope, I think the next videos will be kind of shorter, a little more concise now that we kind of laid it all out in front of you. We'll just do weekly updates on, on what's going on and I think uh, hopefully we can all learn together. So, cool. Sweet, man. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk again uh, a couple times this week. It'll be good. All right, sounds good, man. All right, take care. Tell um, if you see your dad or, or Papa Ro, oh. and I say happy Father's Day to them as well. And enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, man, we'll do. All right, bye, YouTube. We'll see you later.